Hello, my name is Don Wyman, and today I'm going to introduce a development board that features Pervasive's e-paper display and the interaction with the uh, microchip PIC24 FJ part number. Okay, let me walk you through the features and benefits of this board right here. They're uh, starting off with, I have an electronic paper display by Pervasive Displays. And uh, below that, I have three user keypads with a status LED. And I have external uh, memory devices. One device is solely used to interface with the display. The second one here is used for unique ID. I have a PIC24 FJ256 part with a USB on the go, two crystals, one 8 MHz clock and one 32 kilohertz clock for low power uh, clock calendar functionality. And now I need to talk about the power. The power here, the, this is a standalone lithium ion battery charger. And up here is the Coulomb counter so that you can maintain uh, status of how much charge is left in the battery. Um, on this part right here, this is the three volt rail that controls, that powers all the entire board. And next to it I have a five volt rail that powers external devices um, like a USB uh, thumb drive. Now on this board I show ten connections here and I have two input for the power, two for the uh, USB, uh, power, output, and a few more GPIOs. Now on the other side of the board I show uh, 900 megahertz certified radio, a battery connector for the lithium ion batteries, and also I have an auxiliary connector here for uh, a remote battery connection. It's not populated at this point. So that wraps up the overall parts on the board. Next I'm going to show a demonstration of the radio communications and the received signal strength. Okay, to continue with the demo, what I have here is a master device and a slave device. The master has established a network and the slave device has joined the network. So that's where we are at this point right here. So what I'm going to do here is navigate to, through the utility selection down into the radio strength select uh, radio strength indicator. So, so I'm going to navigate over, press this button. So now I have the utilities uh, select, uh, highlighted. Now what I'm going to do here is select select them. Now I'm in the utilities menu. Now what I want to do here is get down to the radio strength indicator. So let me navigate over there. Okay, so to select that, we use the select button here. So now I have a strip chart indicating the radio strength from the remote device to the main device. So I'm going to walk away with the remote device, and on the master, it's going to show the received strength, dip down, and then come back up. Now you'll also notice that I'm using two different types of updates on this display. I'm using a partial update and then I'm also using a global update. So let me go ahead and walk away. Okay, now that I'm back, as you can see that the power was at the maximum level and then dipped down as I walked away and then as I came back, it came uh, back up to the full power. So in conclusion, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. 
And my name again is Don Wyman. I'm with Electronic Design Solutions. And you can reach me on my website at www.electronicdesignsolutions.net and also by email don.wyman at electronicdesignsolutions.net. And thanks again for watching this video. And for future videos, I'm going to discuss USB connectivity. Thank you. Thank you.